Playground full. It was a really, really big playground, and they didn't want to let me in. It was surrounded by a fence, and there was a huge padlock on the gate. The boys and girls playing inside had locked it and put up a sign that said, Playground full. Can you let me in, please? No, 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 they said. You wear glasses. And anyway, you've got nothing to offer us. Yes, I do, I said. Look, look, I have some sticks and I can share them. That's no use. Go on now. Get away from here. So I sat down, feeling sad and waiting to see if any of the kids would leave the playground so that I could take their place. A little while later, a girl dressed in a sari came along. She wanted to enter too. Can you let me in, please? No, 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 they said. Your clothes are weird. And anyway, you've got nothing to offer us. Yes, I do, she said. I have a roll of string and I can share it. That's no use. Go on now. Get away from here. So she sat down too, waiting to see if someone would let her in. Shortly afterwards, a street kid came along carrying scraps of fabric. Can you let me in, please? No, 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 they said. You're dirty, and anyway, you've got nothing to give us. Yes, I do, he said. I have some scraps of fabric, and I can share them. No, 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 that's no use. Get out, get away from here. Then, the street kid sat down beside us, looking sad. Next, there came a little girl with a bag full of colored paper scraps. She spoke in a different language, but she made the effort to communicate with them. You can, you can open door to me? No, 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 they said. You don't speak right, and anyway, you've got nothing to give us. I, I have one thing, she said. Look, silk papers, and, and I will share. That's no use. Go away. Get away from here. And she sat down beside us, looking sad. Finally, along came another little girl with dark skin and very curly hair. Can you let me in, please? No, 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 they said. Your hair is too curly. And anyway, you have nothing to offer us. Yes, yes I do, she said, taking out the wild berries she was carrying in her basket. And what's that? They asked them. They're cauhado berries, and I can share them. Cauhado? What kind of strange fruit is that? Ew, that's no use. Go on now, get away from here. So she sat down to wait, too. After an hour had gone by and nobody had left the playground, we decided to get together and play right there with the things that each of us had. And we wondered, what can you do with some sticks, a roll of string, some scraps of fabric, some wild caujado berries, and some colored paper? I know, I know, said the girl in the sari. Let's make a kite. In my country, kites are called papagayo, said the girl with the curly hair. In my country, they're called patang, said the girl in the sari. In mine, it's called a kite, said the other girl. And in mine, we call it papalote, said the street kid, and we all laugh. We held the sticks together and tied them up with the string. We added the colored paper, sticking it on with the sticky juice of the caujado berries. 
and we added a long tail made of the scraps of fabric. Then we flew the kite and ran behind it all over the park. Soon, the kids in the locked playground looked up and saw our kite gliding through the air. Their mouths were agape as they admired how our papalote did pirouettes in the sky. One of them ran to the gate and opened the padlock. And another one quickly took down the sign and changed it to Playground open to anyone who wants to play. Come on, come in, they said. And when the gate was open, the breeze picked up like magic and the patang rose to even higher heights. And the story goes that since then, at that playground, nobody looks for differences, but instead for what each person can bring. Mm -hmm.